Hey guys, it's Jack here. So this is for my school project. I will be showing you what a modern day garden tractor looks like. So the first thing you want to look for to decipher if it's a garden tractor or a wimpy lawn tractor is you come back here and look at the transmission. See how it's big and bulky? A little garden tractor would have some, like a tr like a lawn tractor would have something that big. That's the first thing you want to look for. Another thing you want to look for, some garden tractors will have this, but not all. They can still be classified as a garden tractor, but they will have all-wheel drive, meaning all four wheels will spin, and, and that means you get better traction, which lawn tractors don't have. And garden tractors also have this front PTO for snowblowers, tillers, and all that. They also have noticeably bigger mower ducks, like a 54 or bigger. Um, diff lock is from, for John Deere, a 5 series and up. This is a 7 series. And if we come up here, th this particular garden tractor is a diesel because when you go to start it, that light right there is the glow plugs. And once that goes off, you are free to start your tractor. But, so this is modern day garden tractor. Look at the transmission. And just if you look at it in person, the tractor in general is just bigger than all other tractors. Another hint from John Deere that if it's a garden tractor, it will have a Yanmar three-cylinder diesel engine in it. Some garden tractors, like the X728, will have a Kawasaki gas engine in it, but it still has four-wheel drive and the big transmission, which means it is a garden tractor. The transmission and hydraulics, those mean that it's a garden tractor. And you notice how on the side panels, they're clean. They don't have the lever where you raise up and down the, the mower deck. They have hydraulics because by raising up and down the mower deck, you can only put so many attachments on it. And yeah, one of the main differences is the two-wheel drive, the big diesel versus gasoline engines. Um, the mower deck is a 54 inch. You can get this with a 48, but as soon as you get to a 36 and 48, those are really where the lawn tractors come in. And they're only built to mow lawns. This is built to mow lawns and do what people call ground engaging. So that means it engages the ground. Like, snow blowers kind of ground engaging, but you can put like a tiller, a plow, or anything you want to ground engage the ground like the grass and this isn't really ground engaging but we have like a like grass collection system on it not very important and so final look at the garden tractor and one thing you want to really notice is the four means four wheel drive so if I have well, not most tractors, but this means what series it's in. This sort of means, I don't know what that means, but this either means, this means, I think, all-wheel drive. If it's a four, it's all-wheel steer. And if it's a zero, it's two-wheel drive. That's, that's what I go by, but you might th think differently. So... Final look at the garden tractor, and I don't know if you can see down here, but I'm trying to get under the tractor, but there is three mower blades. Most lawn tractors will have two. That's a difference that I think makes it a little bit of a garden tractor, but not most of the time. Because you could get a 48 inch deck, and it could still be a garden tractor. It just really depends on what you're going to use it for.
thanks for watching on what I think is a good garden tractor and the differences between a lawn tractor and a garden tractor. Peace out. Hope you like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications.